Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, this is Mark from uh, Proclaim His Word and um, just coming to you with another video. And I have my dear sister and friend with me, Laura from Canada. So, Laura, how are you doing? Hi, great. Happy New Year, Mark. Happy New Year, everybody. Mm -hmm. Another another new year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Praise God. Thank, thank the Lord for his many blessings and thank the Lord for letting us see another year to uh, worship him and to give him the praise that he so deserves. Um, so, Laura, we're just going to just take a, just a few minutes here to answer a question or um, that you have. I know that you've been dealing with some uh, people who are propagating some uh, some false doctrines. So uh, why don't you fill us in? OK, yeah. So I've been hearing some troubling things lately in Christian uh, circles regarding the vaccine, and I've been trying to correct them that are the people that are propagating this to no avail, unfortunately. And there's three things that I've been hearing. Uh, number one, uh, that the vaccine is the mark of the beast, as in Revelation 13, 16. Uh, number two, that the vaccine's not the mark, but if you took it, you probably lost your salvation. Number three, if you took it, um, it, it they, they, they don't say whether it is the mark or not the mark, but if you took it, you should seriously question your salvation. Uh, now, they're saying this because they believe there are similarities to the mark of the beast. So, Mark, uh, what is the biblical answer to all this confusion? I mean, I know well, what it is, but I, I'd like you to, to, yeah. to tell us. Well, the biblical answer is that these people are being unbiblical. I mean, they're mm -hmm. full of it. I mean, it's just, um, no, <laughs> no, this is not the vaccine. It's not the mark of the beast. It cannot be the mark of the beast because in order for it to be the mark of the beast, the Antichrist, the first beast of Revelation 13 should be ruling and reigning right now. And of course, we know reading Revelation chapter 13 verses 11 through uh, 17 or 11 through um, 18, that it's the false prophet who institutes the mark of the beast. So how can this be the mark of the beast if A, the Antichrist is not ruling right now and B, who is the false prophet? We don't know who the false prophet is because he's not ruling and reigning right now along with the um, with the Antichrist. We're also told, of course, that the Antichrist um, you know, he's going to there's going to be some kind of assassination attempt on his life and it's going to seem as if he died, but he will rise from the dead. And we're also told in Revelation chapter 13 that the whole world will marvel after him and will worship the beast. We're told that he is going to be um, speaking great blasphemies, of course, against God. Uh, we're going we're told that he's going to be making war with the saints um, and those who dwell upon the earth. And so is that taking place right now? No. No, the Antichrist is not ruling and reigning right now. Um, and of course, we're also told in Revelation chapter 13, verses 11 through um, 18, you know, we're told we're told that the, the false prophet exerciseth all the power of the first beast. You know, he causes the he causes the earth to um, to worship the first beast. You know, he doeth great wonders and make it fire, make it fire to come down from heaven. You know, we're told that he deceives the whole world and he does miracles. And he were told that he um, causes the world to make an image to the beast um, and that he gives life unto the beast, unto this image of the beast, you know, and that he causeth all um, that, is, that, is, wouldn't, that would not worship the beast, you know, that they should be killed. And of course, in Revelation chapter six, um, 13, verse 16, it says, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy um, or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Is that taking place right now? No. No, it's not taking place. So this cannot be, so the vaccine cannot be the mark of the beast. I mean, the mark of the beast is going to be a worldwide um, event. Every single person on the face of the earth will be compelled to take the mark. Um, and, and of course, it is a mark. Right. And it's a, right. And it's about worshiping the beast and everything. That's not taking place right now. That's not the, the vaccine. Again, in order for, for the vaccine to be the mark of the beast, there has to be the beast. The, the beast has to be ruling and reigning. And it's the false prophet who's going to be forcing the world to, to take this thing. So, no, the vaccine can't be the mark of the beast. It's just it's impossible because we're not living. And of course, this all happens during the during the seven year tribulation period. Well, we're not living in that time right now. No, we're, we're not, not living in that time right now, you know, so uh, no, this is just false doctrine all around. And I just um, I cannot believe that there are um, there are people, you know, who are propagating this and people who should know better. 
you know, who are propagating this nonsense. You know, it's just it's unbiblical, you know, and to have people to have Christians um, judge their salvation because they took the vaccine is just false. Now, of course, I've made my clear my my position clear on the vaccine, you know, but um, it's not for me to at the end of the day force someone or tell someone you can't take this or not. You know, everyone at the end of the day, they have to do their research and they have to look into, you know, this thing and they have to at the end of the day decide if this thing is right for them or not. But I've already decided for me after looking into everything, it's not right for me, so I'm not going to take it. But it's not for me to try to force somebody else um, to not take this thing. And then on top of that, to question someone's salvation because they took the vaccine. This is just false. It's, it's yeah. wrong. You know, this is like lordship salvation. You know, it's like, no, we don't have it is dangerous. And of course, it's to, to, to get anyone to question their salvation over this is just it's just evil. It's dangerous. It's evil. It's unbiblical. Um, it's just yeah. wrong. You know, and again, wow. I cannot believe that there are people who should know better who are um, who are propagating this stuff. Many videos on YouTube have been made of this, um, of the been made of this, but no, it's not. Um, it's not the mark of the beast because, again, in order for it to be the mark of the beast, the 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 beast, the antichrist, has to be ruling and reigning, and there has to be a false prophet. Well, the beast is not ruling, and there is no false prophet right now. We don't know who the false prophet is, so no, and we're not in tribulation period. So it's just. Mm -hmm patently unbiblical and i just um i honestly i can't believe we're even um, talking about this because it's so false yeah and, and i don't think you should have to question your salvation if you took it or not i mean we don't no. know why people took it i mean even though even though we don't agree with the vaccine or you know but uh for whatever reason some people take it maybe it's their job maybe who knows what maybe they're, they're not even mm -hmm. educated on on about it yeah. And, and again, it's at, and they take right, and it again, and, and then they hear something about that mark that, 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 you know, they may they should question their salvation. I mean, some people may really stumble mm -hmm. over that. Yeah. It's, it's, and there's no doubt really that, that people have stumbled over this. There's no doubt mm -hmm. about it, you know, but it just shows you how important it is to be a Berean to to prove all things, you know, to read the scriptures yourself and not, you know, go by somebody on the internet saying something you know well you no know, you have to go in, in the bible yourself and read what it says and you cannot read revelation chapter 13 and come away with the fact that um with the belief that this is the mark it's just uh no no, no. even the no. fact it's that just, it's in your arm i mean it's clearly yeah, it's says in it's arm, in right your right hand or your forehead according to the king james it's going to be yeah. in Right. And again, we you know straight straight well that this is about the beast. This is you anyone who takes this is, is making allegiance, is taking this as an allegiance to the Antichrist, you know. And so That's who's the right. Antichrist right? Who's and again, who's the false prophet? The Antichrist and the false prophet are not here. So I mean the very fact that there are people who are actually propagating this shows their absolute ignorance about the Bible or you know what they're doing. I'm sure a lot of people who are propagating this are maybe spiritualizing it and or allegorizing it and coming up with all sorts of um all sorts of um nonsense but no if you take this literally then no it's not the um, it's not the market of these and as i said this is a worldwide thing and the fact of the matter is that like here in america there um there's certain places like i know here in la county where i live um you know you can't you can't go into uh you can't eat dine in a restaurant but you can order out you can't go to um sports events and stuff like that if you're not vaccinated um but um Same here. you know but uh the fact of them but then when you go in other parts of the country like in florida and many of the red states you know they're wide open they're not stopping anybody from doing anything you don't have to be vaccinated to go yeah. into restaurants or whatever they ask you to be masked up that but that's about it or whatever so Again, this is going to be a worldwide thing. No one is going to be exempted from it. And so the very fact that you have all of these different, um, like here in America, all of these different rules and regulations based on where you live shows that it is just not. Again, this is going to be when the mark of the beast comes, people will not have any doubt as to what it is because, again, Antichrist is going to be ruling and reigning, and the um, and the false prophet is going to be his biggest cheerleader, you know, pointing the world to him and telling the world to worship him, you know. So, um, and we're not living I mean, in that time right now. And of course, we do know that all of this, all of what's happening, what we do know with um, this vaccine, is a precursor. We see that everything right. that the stage is being set right now. Yeah. And that's exactly what it is. The stage is being set. It's being set. We are getting a picture as to what things might look like during that time. And I, of course, I believe that we're very, very, very close to that time. But um, but we're not there yet, you know, but this is just a precursor to what's coming. And um, 
again, I just, um, frankly, I just can't believe that many people have fallen for this, um, fallen for this. And no one should uh, should judge your salvation who's um, who's taken the vaccine. You know, I mean, again, at the end of the day, everyone needs to do their own research and everyone needs to, um, you know, decide. Um, you know, I have a dear friend of mine, you know, he's about 80 years old and his wife is just a little younger than than he is. And, you know, they did their research on it and um, and they took the vaccine because, you know, they're in that very high risk group. And he has a lot of um, underlining um, um, issues, you know, health issues. So he's in that very, very high risk category. So he decided to um, the best thing for him and his wife to do was to take the vaccine. You know, it's not for me to judge for me to judge him you know he said he did his research and you know he's fine and you know he took it several months ago and he said you know he's um there's been no problem um so far you know but um at the end of the day it's not for me to um you know not for me to be his judge in this area you know um so you know that's it so those who are saying it's it's the vaccine is the mark of the beast they're they're just being thoroughly and completely unbiblical it's not i agree i agree yeah thank you mark that's that's it. You know, and um, again, before I end, let me just say that, um, you know, this is a new year and I never like to start the new year off unless I give the gospel. So, you know, to those of you who are listening to this, you know, if you're not saved, if you've not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, we would call on you to to look to the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. You know, um, you have to believe, you know, the Holy Spirit is in the world right now convicting the world of sin everybody knows that they're a sinner you know and the lord jesus christ the sinless son of god he came to this earth to rescue us to free us to um to forgive us of our sins and he did that when he died on calvary's cross two thousand years ago and he was buried and three days later he miraculously rose from the grave and he is now seated at the right hand of the father and anyone any single person on this earth who comes to the cross and who believes on the lord jesus christ in simple faith believes that jesus christ died on the cross for their sins was buried and rose from the grave victoriously. If you believe that in simple faith, with a childlike faith, the Bible says you will be saved and you're saved apart from any works. There's nothing that you can do to save yourself. There's no works that you can do. You we're simply called to believe, nothing more, nothing less. Just believe what Jesus Christ did for you on Calvary's cross. And if you do that, again, the Bible says you will be saved. You know, um, you know, the Bible talks about you need to repent and that is you need to change your mind. You need to go from unbelief to belief. You're you're unbelieving right now. You don't believe what Jesus Christ um, did. But the Bible says you need to change your mind and now believe that he came to this earth and he died for you. And then he rose victoriously from the grave. And if you believe that in simple faith, once again, you will be saved. Whoever you are, whether you be black, white, Asian, Latino, doesn't matter. Rich, poor, doesn't matter. If you simply trust on Christ, you will be saved. And that's it. Yeah. Good. Thank all right. you, Mark. No problem, Laura. And um, God bless. And uh, we'll talk soon, all right? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, then. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.